All right, good morning, uh, Mike. I'm sorry about that little mix up. Uh, I couldn't find someone, so I went ahead and uh, figured it out on my own, but I hope this is exactly what you want. So let's take a look at your part. And the first thing that you're gonna need to do is move this into a 3D environment. So you have a couple of ways that you can do that. You can go to the work settings, workspace settings up here where you have a drop down that says drafting and annotation. And then you could pick 3D modeling there. And you can also pick it from this little wheel right here. This is also workspace settings. Or you could actually type in workspace settings. If you notice, uh, that was one of the choices. Like if you go down here, when you hop, oh, if you type in WS current, you can switch your workspaces. So I usually like to do it from right here. Um, I found that was the easiest one to do. So I'll go ahead and pick 3D modeling. And now you're in this 3D modeling environment. Um, there's ways that you can change the coordinates and stuff up here. But I found that one of the easiest ways for me to be able to do it was to go ahead and uh, select the part. And you have this gizmo that's going to fall into the middle. If you right click on that, you can hit rotate. And then you can pick whichever axis you want to rotate it on. You can see these are they're labeled over here. Um, Excuse that right there. And then uh, pick it, and then you can turn it, or you can type in the number of degrees that you want it to turn. I think that's how you want it. And you also have the rotate gizmo up here as well. So you can also use that same part to move things around if you have to. I hope that uh, solves it for you. Have a good day.